So having a sword like this was very much a mark of genteel status or gentlemanly status. And, and one of the reasons for that is this is not a, a cutting sword. This is not a hacking sword that you would just go out in the field and kind of swish around. Having a sword like this implies that you have the skill to wield it, and that means that you had probably trained in the art of fencing, and ergo, you had the money and leisure to do that, so you must be a gentleman. So having this kind of sword had very definite social implications that people in the 18th century would definitely have recognized. So one question that people ask is, well, really, how good a swordsman was George Washington? Um, and we don't really have any definite descriptions of that. There are references that he suggests he took fencing lessons as a young man in Fredericksburg. Um, and there is a reference from one Frenchman who noted that Washington was particularly graceful in how he carried his sword, how he moved with it. He had that gentlemanly air. So George Washington's 1767 small sword is one of our most treasured artifacts here at Mount Vernon. And we hope you will come and see it. It's on display at the Donald W. Reynolds Museum here at George Washington's Mount Vernon. Please come and see it.